Hey guys, Nikai here. And today I'm going to be upgrading my old laptop hard drive to this new faster solid state drive, which is a 256. Um, I'm also going to be removing my old CD-ROM drive. And I'm going to be installing this HDD Caddy. So this is going to be a fresh new install of Windows. So I'm not going to be cloning my drive. I'm just going to be installing the windows directly to the solid state drive. So let's get into it. Okay guys, um, so I'm going to start by removing my current hard drive. I'm going to start by removing the battery. I'm going to unscrew this panel. Okay guys, um, it's very important before you mess around with your hard drive that you guys back up your data. I've already backed up my data, so I can just go ahead and remove my hard drive. I'm also going to be removing the CD-ROM drive. Uh, guys, this, um, this setup varies for different laptops. Uh, my laptop, this caddy that I got is a 9mm caddy. Uh, you have some that are 12mm, so you have to make sure that you get the right caddy, guys, to put the hard drive in. I'm going to... Just remove the hard drive. Disconnect it. Okay. I'm gonna be connecting. Oh, I have to remove the, the casing, guys, for the hard drive. I'm gonna have to unscrew it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put the hard drive into the caddy. Fits quite nicely. All right, so I'm gonna screw this up with some screws that came with the caddy. If I can find them. Here we go. Okay, guys. So we have our hard drive nice and snug in our caddy. Okay, I'm gonna install the solid state drive. I'm going to be putting it in the casing that we have for the old hard drive. Sorry. There we go. Install the screws. Okay, guys, I'm going to connect it up and install it in here. Connect back the screws. Okay, guys, so I've installed the solid state drive into the machine. I'm going to be installing Windows 10 from this USB thumb drive that I had set up prior to this to this um, video. So I'm just gonna connect up back the machine. I'm not going to be putting in the hard drive in as yet, the old hard drive because uh, it still has the old windows on it and I don't want it to be messing with the primary hard drive. So um, we'll put that in later. Okay, so we're just gonna do the install of Windows. So let's get the machine put back together. Okay, 
guys let's get into the installation okay guys so we're going to connect our usb thumb drive into the laptop and we're going to power on the laptop so i'm going to be bringing up the boot menu on for my machine it's escape and i'm going to be choosing the boot device so i'm going to be pressing f9 I'm going to be using, I'm going to be, going to be selecting USB hard drive. I'm going to be selecting Windows 10 setup 64 bit. And it's going to load files. Okay guys, um, it's asking for a CD key. I do not have one at this moment, so I'm gonna select I don't have a CD key. It should allow me to set up or continue. All right guys, for this setup, I'm gonna be selecting Windows 10 Home. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, guys, it's very important um, for you to know which edition of Windows 10 you have. Uh, my machine comes with Windows 8 Home, so you should be selecting a Windows that the edition is the same as yours. So if you have Windows Home, do not select any other Windows edition. So you wouldn't go ahead and select Pro, you just select Windows 10 Home. Select Next. I'm going to do Custom Install. I'm going to select New. And I'm going to apply. Okay, so it's gonna create some um, different partitions, guys, for your um, your booting and the recovery drive partition. Uh, so we're gonna pause the video here, guys, and we'll be back once the installation is complete. Okay guys, so we're gonna now put the HD Caddy back into the laptop. But first I'm gonna install this um, this screw latch from that I took from the CD-ROM drive onto this caddy. Uh, make sure that I connect it the right way. Hope you guys can see. There you go, guys. We can slide it into the CD-ROM bay. And install the CD-ROM screw that we took from the hard drive, the CD-ROM. Ensure that it pushed in nice and tight, guys. Uh, realize it doesn't. But the if you guys want it to fit real nice, you'd have to remove the old CD-ROM base covering to put over the front and attach it to the caddy. So let's just connect back up the machine. <laughs> 